about spray paint if you ever want to use it again when you're done you got to hold it upside down and spray it to blast all the residual paint out of the nozzle why upside down just to get the gunk to out blast it so no additional paint comes through until air comes out oh i see it and won't then it clears okay. the nozzle and then you can store it upright so the paint only comes out when it's upright yeah upright in lock and position somebody didn't do that probably me do you have a technique or are you well, just trying to cover real light coats with spray paint, you don't want to go heavy because it'll drip. Right. And I'm, I'm very mindful of the wind. Yeah, we I already. I paint myself or my child black today. Right. It was coming from the south and now it's going this way. So, yes, you must do. Oh, <coughs> bee dance. You know, if I get the opportunity to spray paint a bee black, Ooh. I will be doing that because I'm feeling a little hateful toward these bees. Here you got not me. Nice honeybees. They're, no. they're yellow jackets, and they're just jerks. They, you know, they come after you. You're minding your mm -hmm. own business. They just come after you and dive bomb you. Yeah. And I'm just not having it today. I mean, what's really the difference between like bee wasp spray and spray paint? I feel like both would be pretty bad yeah, both would be <laughs> pretty for the bee. Bad. You know, and as I think I've told you before, we used to use spray starch on the spiders in the basement. Yeah. And then they get Fun. petrified. Yeah, and then my dad would come down and find all the spiders. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dark. Yes. Well, uh, we love it. I mean, what are you going to do? Yeah. Okay. Coat one done? Yeah, I'll just move on to the second. This isn't very interesting or cool. It's just basic boring. I start at the top, go down, and very light coat. And then I come back around, inspect it, and do yep. another coat. All right, to be continued. Okay. Well, why don't we start, because we haven't done this yet, why don't we just do the, the this one without the border, and then, because that one's a little more involved, it has multiple steps, so mm -hmm. we can just start with this one and okay. see how it turns out, and that's why mm -hmm. we have multiple copies of the pictures, too. Hmm? I think they melt. Actually, what kind of mod podge is this? We actually test the decoupaging of the printed images, so... Should we do that first on, no, like, I'm a... Just gonna jump in, huh? So we spray painted them, and now we're on the collaging step. So I searched Google and found a bunch of images, so do you want to explain what the theme is for each one? So Colleen is the mastermind. I'm just the muscle in this regard. She's got a theme that is office settings from pop culture because in a liberal arts education you need to have pop culture office sort of things. I'm not going to get into detail. If you don't recognize these images then you need to go and you know get bolster out. up your own liberal arts education. Mm -hmm. And then for this one we have a law enforcement slash police theme. Similar idea from pop culture. Images, words, quotes. I think they're fantastic. And the the genesis of that theme was from the fact that that has a lock on the bottom drawer. Right. Because the, we wanted to play up the security theme and we also like TV cop shows. So right now they're just, they're placed down there for yeah. the, the outline of it. And then we're going to go in and Mod Podge. So I'm a little nervous about this one because my project manager in this case is pretty precise. These are her favorite shows. <laughs> and um, I've taken a picture of each of the, day, the design layout here. So I don't forget. Mm -hmm. But I'm worried. Like, what if 
she absolutely wanted this to overlap just no. this precise way and what if I blow it so no, that's, you know I am this is an exercise in me letting go and remembering <laughs> that this is a collage and that's the point of a collage yeah. is overlapping so it doesn't matter oh god did you uh, get rid of the IRS files over in the filing cabinet yeah we didn't have any the audit ones yeah those the audit ones. story of the how you got these file cabinets way back when in the 80s I assume were they not from the 80s did I tell you this story already no I never okay, heard because they're in I don't know a story oh <laughs> so I'm like, wait, I assume there was a story am I losing it I don't remember <laughs> there's I, no story okay I'll make up a story no <laughs> uh, did you just buy them because you hey, needed them was a <laughs> No, there's no story. You just needed file cabinets, so you went to Walmart and bought file Probably. cabinets? Probably. Yeah. I don't recall. I, I think it was uneventful. It must have yeah. been uneventful. Yeah. Not everything has a story behind it. I know. I was hoping there were. boring metal file cabinets. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah. Now they and I are covered with the glue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. These are finished products. Woo! This is our office themed file cabinet. Here we have various sundry um, scenes from popular TV shows, office scenes. We have, this is the British version of The Office. We have um, Frazier in his office. We have Mary Tyler Moore. We have Jim from The Office. We have Elaine Bennis smoking a cigar My from Seinfeld. Who I'm channeling at work. Yes. So because it's a file cabinet, we wanted to have on pop culture scenes from an office. Mm -hmm. And if you open up a drawer, look what you find inside. Ooh. Oh my. School supplies. School supplies inside. Ooh, it's functional too. Fully functioning metal. Lovely. Lovely. And not so ugly. They were really ugly before. So moving on to our second beautiful piece here. This one has an added security feature. Mm. We can lock the files. And then, oh dear, oh no, oh, it didn't lock. Wait, I turned it the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> it does work. It does work, I promise. I just don't want to do it. No, there, there's the bottom drawer locks. This one you can lock if you have top secret files, hence the police theme. Yes. Law enforcement, we have Barney Fife, we have Columbo. We have um, verbiage from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Cool, 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 cool. No, 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 no. <laughs> Can't say it. CSI Miami, of Horatio. course we have Horatio. Yeah. And Batman, Adam West. Well, Adam West, Batman, because... He's not technically a cop, but he's, he's supporting the local community. He's guarding the top secret yes. files. So. And we love this because you, you really can lock this stuff up. I mean, people don't use file cabinets so much anymore, but let's face it, folks, we still have a lot of paper that we have to lock up. So, mm -hmm. and even why if we have beautiful file cabinets, it was a lot of fun. Colleen did a nice job getting uh, pictures and organizing them. Yes, I think it looks good. Declare it done. I declare it done.
you who aren't from the Midwest of Chicago, maybe you don't know about the scourge that is called the stink bug. Nasty little suckers. Why don't we repurpose them? I can cut stuff. Talk much? <laughs>